This video is brought to you by Gunplay SA, South Africa's favorite place for gunpla, related tools, supplies, resources, community, and so much more. Check out gunplaysa.com. Hey Paul, hey, how's it going, man? I'm, I'm <laughs> what good. What are you doing here? Uh, no, what have no. we got? Uh, we supposedly got new paint, but I can't find it anywhere, Jeff. Uh -huh. Where are they? Oh, here, 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 here's. Like, isn't this all the paints that we ordered? Yeah, yes, we got a lot of black and white. Yeah. 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 But where's the rest of them? I don't know where the rest of them are. So I see like these boxes, yeah? There's lots of boxes and there's like mm. markers and all that kind of stuff. Uh -huh. And okay, we got primer, we got Mr. Yeah, surfacer yeah, yeah, yeah. and stuff. <laughs> or Mr. Mr. Finishing Surfacer. Uh -huh. 1,500 yeah, black. Like, the surface is not exciting. But I was, I was told they were colors, man. Mm -hmm. They were like all these colors and I'm not seeing them. Get rid of it! Is it these? Yes! <laughs> 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 the whole rainbow nation okay. here. What cool. the hell? Shit! <laughs> 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 that was for dramatic effect. <laughs> okay, so guys, hmm. yes, we got more Mr. Hobby, Mr. Color stuff in. Yeah, Very yeah, exciting. Yeah. So we got all of the, oh, not all of them, but we got a lot more in. Mm -hmm. Got some fluorescent colors, which are really, really Wait, great. Hold on, hold on. I, I put my UV. Ooh, yeah, sure. <laughs> Look at that. It's like being at laser games. Ooh. Anyway, so we got all that new stuff in, but, mm -hmm. or rather, but check this out. Okay. We got all these pre-mixed Gundam colors, okay? Take out the so it's like there's Gundam white mm -hmm. or MS white, which so is really like good. So it's like an off white, eh? it's not yeah. pure white. And then we got Gundam yellow, mm -hmm. which is very yellow. Yeah, so these are all formulated, like it's commissioned by Bandai for Mr. Hobby to like mix and formulate based on the color schemes of you know, of the model kits, yeah. Mobile suits, like the, the Gundams, or the, the Zeon suits, like the Zakus, yeah. the Zoms, yeah. So here's a, yeah, so that's exactly what I was gonna say now as well. It's like, these are the actual paint mixes that you'll find in the, in the manual, mm -hmm. but they're really mixed. So you don't have to like go and buy this green and mix it with another one. Yeah. You can buy this green and that's your Zaku green. Mm -hmm. um, and there's your Zaku dark deep. green, your deep green which is really, really nice. And something I'm excited about is Dom Purple. Yeah, they call it MS, <laughs> MS Purple. Purple. Yeah, so, the MS is just mobile suit. Yeah. So what's cool about this is you can use it for your uh, Begua bow, you can use it for your Dom, you can use it for, what's another purple mobile suit? If you get the Michaelis, there's mm -hmm. purple on that. So this is what, you know, so these colors are really formulated. Mm. And of course, I'm really excited mm. about Shaw Pink. Shaw. Shah! <laughs> and, and then... There's more Shahs. There's and Shah's then, red. And then there's the Shah's red, which is the dark meat. So That's like, kind of a, like a wine red, huh? It is kind of like wine red. In fact, I'm going to put the two next to each other and you'll actually see that the wine red is ah, quite yes, a bit darker. Yes, 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 yes. So this is actually just wine red with white mm. mixed into it. And it just lightened up. But you know what? Guys, there's a convenience to getting the colors straight out of the bottle. Really, really. And then there's Sazabi red, but it just looks like a like an MS red. It yeah. does, but it, it it is different to the MS red. I you can see this oh, is yeah, more yeah. dull. Yeah, mm. um, and this is like more uh, vibrant. Yeah, I would more say it's vibrant. 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 It's also got a little bit more darkness to it. Yeah, mm. which is like so. This is great for Sinanju. If you mm -hmm. want to paint Sinanju, yeah. I'm a sucker for red. I always uh, get excited when I see I red see paint. All these uh, Gundam colors here, <clears throat> so just mostly formulated for UC, eh? Uh, yeah, mm. although, but we also got a few sneaky... But I see like here, even the AU, um, the blue, for like Zeta? Yes. Yeah, and so, also this blue here next to it, it makes me think, oh, if you're painting an aerial, Gundam aerial, you yeah. could use this one. That, that makes sense to me as well. Mm. That would be the right kind of blue for the aerial. It's also a great oh, alternate blue. There's also joint colors, so like this. Yes. All, all of them actually are semi-gloss, um, semi Except for this one, this one's metallic. Yeah. So you can, I think you can use this on the weaponry of like the R78 too, the rifle, it's like metallic. Yeah, so we got um, the different grays as well. We also got yeah. the uh, Xeon's MS gray. Mm -hmm. So that's for the gray parts on the Xeon, but you could also use it for the inner frames. Mm -hmm. You can also use it for the Sentinel, um, the, the Zeta Plus A1, mm -hmm. um, and other gray units <clears throat> in, the, in the universe. Yeah. Um, another one that's also really that's great is Phantom, Phantom Gray. Yeah. So this is, this is actually the gray that when you... For Earth Federation suits? It is, yeah. So this is what you would use for the Fetty suits. And you can also use this as a frame color. It's basically the gunship gray as well. So, like, it's cool to have all of this stuff straight out of the bottle. And guys, I know a lot of you are Titans fans. And I know a lot of you Titans. have... Titans. as they like to say in the it's anime. Like blue one and blue two. Yeah. It's like, that looks super dark blue. 
So yeah. the blue here looks very blue because it hasn't been mixed, but it's got yeah. a little bit of a purple feel to it. Mm -hmm. These are great if you've bought, if you've got Advanced of Zeta, if you've mm -hmm. bought anything from the from the Zeta line in terms of Titans. So the yeah. GM Quell, the Mark II Gundam, yeah. or um, the Advanced of Zeta, or the well, Advanced yeah. of Zeta, yeah, the AOZ stuff. I just stuff. find like the the, the packaging mm. and the label is like it's got a dedicated. Uh, Titans label. logo, but logo. then, but then all the other ones just got the standard Gundam head. Which like, is like oh, come on, they could have had a Sazabi head. And I agree. I think that would have been so so cool. Guys, you know, oh, come on. And guys, something I'm very mm, excited about. These are the GX clears. So I'm gonna pull out the pink because that's my favorite color here. Mm -hmm. So yeah. So finally. So for like candy coats, eh? Yeah, candy yeah. coats for Gundam eyes. Yeah. Um, as a South African. Um, it's in pretty much impossible to get this color clear in this country mm. until today. Um, because this is the thing, right? There's a lot of Gundam kits that have pink eyes. There's a lot of Gundam kits that have green eyes. And the green is fairly common, although the GX green has got a very nice tinge to it. It doesn't go as yellow as, say, the Tamiya stuff does. <coughs> but yeah, man, to have pink and also purple. And now for those of you guys who want to do like awesome, like, you know, candy coats on your kits, mm. Now you've got this. Actually, speaking about candy coats, like I'm sure the, the, the guys who do car... Um, They're going to love this as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Um, they, they probably know how to do candy coats already, but for, the, for, for our audience, how do you actually do a candy coat? Okay, so just the most basic is you want to spray your kit silver mm -hmm. or a chrome. Mm -hmm. uh, and then Like a metallic. Like a metallic, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And then you and spray then one of these spray. over it. Yeah. And it gives it that richness and depth. Guys, you don't necessarily need to use silver. You can also use gold. Mm. It'll give you a slightly different effect. Yeah, you can use that creative freedom, you know, yeah. whatever you want. I would, I would say for some colors, gold actually makes it even nicer and mm. even richer. Um, and this is also for your Gundam eyes. So when you mm. paint your Gundam eyes, you can actually paint them silver first, mm. do the clear coat and, you know, do all of that magic. So that's the excitement of the new paint. And we've got one or two new little products that we just want to quickly show you guys as well. And they're also new for the country. And, and speaking of which, like, it's really nice to finally have stands. Proper stands. So we can actually have them in front of Nexus. <laughs> we're not going to, you know, do it there because, you know, we're trying to film at the back, yes. yeah? Yeah. <laughs> And also, we're going to have everything labeled. It's going to be all nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so guys, you're familiar with the Gundam markers. Mm -hmm. Okay, so now we've got like different types of markers. So we've got type. the new type. So new this type. is the, the pour yeah. marker. Okay, like pouring. Okay, and it's got a, it's a harder tip. So you can use this for doing your panel lines mm -hmm. on your kits, as opposed to using the thin panel line yeah, markers. The, the, the felt, uh, tip. However, and this is very important to note, you cannot use these over a paint job. Yeah. So okay. they do say it in the, at the back, yeah, so guys, like, check the um, description at the back. The so they said like, please apply, what's it, I saw it somewhere here. Here. Yeah, uh, pour type, use, use before, before assembly. assembly. Yeah. Okay. So basically it's like for straight builds, um, and you don't use this over your painted builds, because it's going to eat your, your paint. Yeah, and, and do not apply on coats of other types of paint, as the ink may dissolve the undercoats. Okay, mm. so guys, just be careful with the stuff, it is quite hectic yeah, so th this is lacquer based paint basically. so this is for you guys who don't want to ever paint your kits you just want to do cool panel lining mm. this will actually get you a much better or finish if you do want to paint your kit like down in the future but for in the time being you actually just want to like you know enhance the panel line details you can use this exactly and later on just paint over and this is a special cleaning this isn't a razor a razor marker uh, no, 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 no this is a glass one yeah. this is a glass coat sorry More there we go sorry this is the <laughs> that's the matte that's the matte Coat. Okay. There we go, that's the one. You know, they're so different. So it's Gundam yeah. Eraser. So this is, yeah, this is Gundam cool. Eraser marker. Eraser marker. So this is just to remove your, this is alcohol based. Mm -hmm. So it should remove the Gundam color mm -hmm. off and it will also remove the panel lining as well yeah. if you make a mistake. Yeah. So these are quite handy to have. Listen, if you're a little bit experimental, you can also use these for blending hmm. and whatever. So give it a shot, try them out. Uh, Jeff and I are curious to see what you guys do with them yeah. because we, we haven't even gotten our mind around them yet properly. And then of course, guys, we got all the Mr. Surfaces yeah. back in. So we got white, we got we black. Got a lot of white. <laughs> and we know you've all been missing these. Mm -hmm. We got gloss top coats top in. Coats, I gloss, think we got semi gloss semi as gloss. well. And um, what's it? The flat. And we got the flat. Yeah. Mm. So and I believe did we also get Mr. Surfacer? Is it not in this one? Yeah, yeah, Mr. Oh, Surfacer. we did. Are you talking about? The oh, no, no, the, the spraying one, the the spray can one. Oh no, 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 we didn't get those. We didn't get the spray can. We're still waiting for those yeah, to come back uh, in. We just want to make sure that. Um, yeah. 
We also got some more Mr. Leveling Thinner. So you can either have it in two flavors, a small medicine looking bottle or the one I prefer, which is the big plastic bottle. Yeah. Uh, obviously the smaller bottles is like if you are first time getting into it and you don't want to invest into a big thing. Then get the small one. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. um, we've got all kinds of tape and stuff back in, masking tapes. We've got in different, I think this is the six and the eight and the 10 millimeter yeah. that we've got. Actually, this is the 18 millimeter. That's really, really nice. Mm -hmm. um, guys, when you look at an 18 millimeter tape, a lot of people think, oh, well, I'm never going to need to use that much tape. But actually, it's quite handy if you buy one of these because you can actually cut it up into smaller sections. Mm. I it find last you a long time. it will last you a long time. And uh, then the, the big one. I think, yeah, a lot of it is like restocks of like. It's just restocks. Like, so you can, know, what's it? Mark Setter, Mast, you know, all these decal things. So you guys so can check is, that all out on the site. New, yeah. Okay, so here's the cool thing we got a Procon Boy, mm -hmm. double action. Platinum. So, so this is like a higher end um, airbrush, right? Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is Mr. Hobby's highest uh, or best airbrush. Mm -hmm. um, these are great. I really like them. I'll tell you some fun facts. They are assembled in the same factory as uh, Iwata. Um, although they're not Iwatas, so please mm -hmm. don't quote me on that. But they are assembled in the same factory, so the craftsmanship is very, very good. Mm -hmm. um, you're not... Should I open it? Yeah, let's just open it. If you guys... Just <laughs> Yeah, it's going to be very... Don't, don't, okay, last night when I was opening just to check it out, I, I tried not to like leave fingerprints and all that. Oh my word, no, yeah. I'm going to leave all the fingerprints, yeah. sorry man. So I love that it comes in a little case, mm -hmm. uh, which is what you want from an item like this. So you got a, okay, so this, okay, is actually designed yeah. for a spray can. So I, at first when I saw it, I, I thought, oh, is, this, is that a quick release? But no, it's, it's designed to go onto a can, like on, a canister. Onto a air canister. Mm. Guys, Listen, some airbrush air compressors might com accommodate that, but just be warned, it might not. So you may want to just get yourself a whole new hose anyway, mm. okay? Because the coupling here will... Yeah, so check out the hose. So there's something I noticed. And we check it... Very carefully. <laughs> yeah, I just want to just be careful because I don't want to pull stuff yeah. apart here that's not meant to be pulled apart. Guys, so something I noticed um, with the hose... Also, guys, there's like instruction manual in it. But yeah, yeah the hose here... Um, you probably just need to find a coupling for a conventional compressor yeah. or just buy a like, proper hose. Um, the cool thing about this is if you are the kind of person, like this, Jeff, just so you know, this, mm. will, this will connect to my compressor, for example. Hmm. Yeah. So this here is called a Mac valve. Okay. So you open that up to mm. introduce air into the, into the kit. So if you need to keep your pressure system there and you don't want your airbrush to... So it's just an additional about thing. A Mac valve. It also has another one on the airbrush itself. Yes, and yeah. this this is so, what I love. Mm. I love. So, so if you don't want to adjust your your air pressure on a compressor, you can adjust it here. Or if your compressor can't adjust um, the air pressure, which most yeah. compressors should. Most compressors yeah. should. You can but use just this. Just in case, you can adjust it there on the. Air and pressure. also, guys, just so you know, it has got a removable, so you can yeah. use a standard hose connector there. So you don't have to use this one, which is the Procon yeah. hose connector. Okay. Yeah. Um, and one little thing I do want to mention, because so, some of our guys might not know about this. If you're wondering what this is, mm, this a is a limiter. Mm. Yeah, it's a trigger limiter. So when you airbrush, you obviously compress to get air out and you pull it back to get the paint mm. out. But if you're not very stable with your hands, you can actually adjust this so that you can only get so much paint out. Yeah, so if you're like so if you working on fine details, yeah. you can just limit the trigger how much it can pull back. Yeah. Cool. So I just want to just neatly put this in. I just want to put that down there nicely and gently. And I'm going to give it a nice wipe with my very nice and soft and, oh, Gold Force t-shirt. Another thing to oh, note, sorry. the hose is only one meter. So it's kind of short. It so, is kind of short. Yeah, keep that in mind. So, you know, it, it is, comes free as a set. So, you know, it's kind of nice to have. But I, I would consider getting a, a longer, like, a, a hose. And also just, uh, uh, yeah, and to add to that, guys, most premium airbrushes do not come with a hose. Mm -hmm. They actually uh, e expect you to have your own hose that you buy separately. So the fact that it comes with a hose is a nice bonus. Mm -hmm. uh, in my experience, those little plastic hoses like that, they tend to actually create a lot of moisture in the line mm. and they don't stay warm, um, which is why I prefer a braided hose. And we do actually sell those. Mm -hmm. So if you guys want to get one of those instead, rather just get one of those when you buy one of these. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. that is all the cool, exciting stuff that we got in. By the way, it's upside down, but we'll fix it. Oh my off. word. We'll fix it off video. <laughs> Paul <laughs> is, I'm <laughs> such an, an I'm such an, I'm going to fix it now, man. I'm going to fix it now. So anyway, the cool, uh, yeah. 
Guys, if it, uh, and then the last thing I have to, the absolute last thing I want to say about one of these mm. is that when I buy a new airbrush, it's going to be one of these. Mm. I really want one of these yeah. airbrushes. So I really like them. You know, I love that if, little metal. If it's your first time airbrushing and you're not sure about how to do it, like, you know, if this is your thing, you know, painting and all that, maybe don't consider the high end, you know, jump into the deep end. You know, consider getting a more basic one just to learn the craft mm. and getting familiar with like the anatomy of an airbrush and how to de what's it uh, deconstruct it, how to clean it before you get a you know. Yeah, there's nothing worse than ruining a three grand airbrush, guys. Yeah, yeah. It's not like mess around. Mm. And also, you won't appreciate things like the Mac valve and all yeah. that stuff. Uh, get it like Jeff said. Get a basic one. Get your skills mm. up. Then you can appreciate yeah. the, the the engineering that goes into so something like So at least like you know we've got like the, the choice now. You know we've got the starter end side of the Supernova Ninja airbrush, so, which even though it's a starter one, it's still very very solid. It's very very yeah, good. dude. Yeah. That Ninja yeah. one is great, but this is a good upgrade, and also it's a 0.3 mil as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah, same. So, which is good. 0.3 mil is one of the more versatile. You, you, you mentioned it's easier to shoot out. You know if your thinning ratio is not. Um, right, it's still a bit yeah. more forgiving. Yeah, yeah. like on a, on a smaller needle, like the, what's it? The, the, two, uh, point two. the point twos or point one eights, you know, those are more finished. Those are bastards and also yeah. you can't really shoot glass paint with a two point, uh, with mm. a point two. In, in my experience, it, mm. it doesn't uh, and land nicely. surface and primers, yeah? Yeah, mm. yeah, it just doesn't go so nicely. Yeah. So guys, yeah, yeah. Um, we're very excited. I, I'm, I've picked a few colors for myself <laughs> that I can't wait to use. <laughs> and um, it's definitely sharp pink, we all know <laughs> this. Um, and yeah, we hope that you guys are just as excited about these paints as we are. It's mm -hmm. definitely going to make a model journey a lot easier. Mm. And um, yeah, guys, as always, remember to yeah. keep painting joy. Huh? Which, yeah. oh, you, you, I was like, which one are you going to pick? And it's like, of course, you're going to pick Charles <laughs> <Shaz> Pink. <laughs> bump, cool. bump, bump, bump. Yeah. By the way, hold on. I'll just turn it to have a Gundam head that you're going to smash. Cool. So, guys, until next time. Keep it up, it up, it up,